As far as the hosting, like I said already 50,000 times in a previous video, you can use your provider. But since I use Netlify during the course, we'll use this one. Now, let me be very clear. They're not sponsoring this video. They're not sponsoring the course. I'm not paid to say this. I'll just enjoy the service. They do offer generous free tier. So essentially, the only thing you need to do is sign up. That's it. You'll have to provide your email and you're good to go. And once you sign up for account, just log in. And this is going to be your dashboard. Then you want to go for a new site. And of course, if you just opened up, you're not going to see the sites. But since I'm using this already for quite a while, I have a bunch of sites in here. You want to look for add new site. And we'll start with deploy manually. Yes, with the later projects, we will take a look at the GitHub option. But for now, let's just go with deploy manually. And essentially, we just want to look for that build one. So let's go to tutorial and Let's grab this build folder. Yep, we want to upload. The process is going to be pretty fast. And once Netlify is done processing the files, we will have our site live. And if you click on this link, you'll see our awesome project. One last thing that I want to mention in this video, if you want to change the site name, you just need to navigate here to a site settings. Let's say you're not happy with this generic name, go to change site name, and you need to provide whatever value you want. Now keep in mind, unless you add the custom domain, it's always going to have this Netlify that app, which in my opinion is not a big deal, but just in case you don't want to. So yes, you'll effectively need to use the search engine to figure out how you can set up a custom domain, which by the way, is not hard, but we're not going to cover in this course, because this is a react course. And if the name is already taken, let's say if I'm going to go with react, of course, I'm going to have this error. So just keep that in mind. In my case, I'm going to go with the react course, and fundamentals, hopefully that is not taken, but you never know. Yep, everything works. Like I said, this is the link now that we can share. And anyone who visits this link is going to see our awesome application. Now, this is it for React Fundamentals. Hopefully, everyone enjoyed this section, and I'll see you in the next one.